white ones in the middle, two buttons on the bottom, and we have two analog knobs that we start to encoders that end up allowing us to turn and move around on the track, sort of twist and turn with the music. So, the way that they connect is, for example, a simple clock, right? Let's see how these controls on this controller uh, map to the thing that you're going to see here, which is the location for the game. Okay, so here's the link. We're going to see various inputs from this point where the button is going to be Okay. And you'll see that if I don't touch anything, the music will continue playing essentially as it is. Right, so I think you're not doing anything, so it'll still play. But yet it still feels like I'm sort of interacting with the music, I'm mean, interfacing with the music, playing along with it. That's the first instance of the bottom one, which are orange. That's the golden. And so this one, pink refers to the light knob, which I'm turning in the direction of the laser. So if I play it sort of like that, usually. There are certain ones that you can actually bind the audio effects to. So there's a little bit of agency. If I press a note and that one wants to be held, it'll actually do a, a filter or an effect, sort of like a trigger or something like that. But if I don't press it, it will not do that. I'm intentionally avoiding talking about that right now because I want okay. to focus on, on the controller and sort of how to play. But that is, that is a case where we do have a little bit of agency over the music that comes out. So right now I want to show you how it's sort of starting to be played around with in a more technical uh, setting where they can start being creative with how they, with how they um, play. So we're going to be playing on level 6 here, which is a bit of a jump from level 1. Uh, what I'm doing here is you actually have um, you actually have full control over the speed at which the notes come down at you. This is a feature of the animated notation, is that if you want to read it faster and have more space to the notes, you can. So this will be a more elaborate version of how you can utilize the interface and come up with creative ideas to the music. Cool, 
flashing. <laughs> um, but, but as much as as much as possible, I'd like you to I'd like to invite sort of look at what I'm doing on the controller, how it's being now, uh, how it's starting with my fingers, my hands, my body. That was a bit shocky, but that was actually uh, songs often come with different levels of song, so that was the easiest. The hardest version is the level 18. Uh, level of the sound voltage range from 1 to 20. So we played a 1, a 6, I believe, and then we'll be playing an 18. Sort of, and I, I'd like you to sort of think about uh, not only how this would make full use of the controller, um, but sort of like what it means to be virtuosic in a rhythm game like this. 